What about this? I don't care what goes, as long as we clear out this clutter. I can't tell you how great it feels to clear out this house. Oh, I can finally breathe. And even better, we're making some cashola for the family ski trip. Lobster man? Oh, I bet this is worth something. Angelo, honey, can you hand me that old car? Can you wash this off, honey? You know, we're gonna get a lot of money for that. Wait! What are you doing with my stuff? Seriously, what are they doing with my stuff? Remember, we asked you to get some things together for the community yard sale. Uh, no. Well, I did. And besides, you've outgrown most of these toys. Mom, my wubby kicks major butt. <laughs> Angelo, you haven't touched that thing in about 10 years. Well, well I'm touching it now, even if it does kind of smell like wet dog. And I love this half rubber ball. <laughs> and I suppose you can't live without this toy monster thingamaboodle we found under your bed. That's a dried up old piece of fried chicken. about those Stinkfoot CDs you guys still have from the 90s? And all those Stinkfoot t-shirts and posters in the attic? You've outgrown all of that, but yet you still keep it. That's because we met at a Stinkfoot concert. <laughs> and fell for each other right away. That's when we knew we were meant to be. What about Elena's stuff? Oh no, I'm not touching that. Smart move. If you mess with Elena's stuff, she'll shave you in your sleep. And Peter doesn't have a thing worth selling. He's pretty much trashed it all. This is so not fair. I'm being punished for taking care of my own stuff? Time to call in some backup. All right, genius. Let's hear it. How are we going to get everything back before your parents sell it? And why did I bring my portable DVD projector? Just follow my lead. Parents melt when it comes to nostalgia. Or what I like to call strategy one, memories. Oh, please give me a few last moments reliving the sweet old memories I have with these things. Remember when I took my first steps while holding this teddy bear? And how I took this toy car with me on my first day of school. Oh, it's so sweet. <laughs> and the first time me and dad played soccer. <laughs> and this is me, um, playing trumpet. Hey, that old trumpet is still in the attic. It's perfect for the sale. We're losing them. Turn up the music. Um, remember Christmas with this, uh... What? Uh, how did those get in there? Fast forward to the next set of pictures. You see those comic books? Ah, we forgot all about those. And that remote control car. Oh, some little boy would just love that. Yeah, me. At this rate, we'll be able to upgrade the family from the ski suite to the chalet palais. <laughs> the room with the hot tub? Yep, and the one where the ski lift picks you up in your room. Looks like we'll have to stop them at the sale. I'll give you a dollar for this. The sticker says four dollars. Hmm. How about I give you a dollar for it, honey, and you got yourself a deal? People who go to these sales are always looking for a deal. So if the price of my stuff is too high, then no one will buy anything. On to strategy two. The price is wrong. How are we gonna change the prices with your parents breathing down our necks? I'm on it. Hey, Mr. K. I heard about your ski trip. Bet you didn't know my dad's selling racing skis. Really? Feather light titanium with a graphite base and edges so sharp they'll carve moguls like a Thanksgiving turkey. <laughs> and a friend of the family deal. Where? We don't have room for new skis. We're getting rid of clutter. Angelo, can you watch the table, dear? Nice. Forty dollars? $50? Thanks for stopping by. See ya never. Hmm. I'd like to purchase this robot. Huh? Wait. I'll take this bow and arrow and the robot. No, no. I saw the bow and arrow first. I'll take them both. <laughs> I don't think so, sir. They're mine. Says who? Says me. It's mine. Is not. Is too. You're willing to pay
pay that much money for this stuff? At these prices? They're obviously rare sought-after collectibles. What I miss? What do we do? Nobody's buying anything! Because you're too childish to have these toys. Rubbish! Poppycock! Okay, now let's get back to the table. <gasps> ah, what are you doing? We'll need a little entertainment on the trip. All that talk about Stinkfoot earlier today put me in the mood. That's sweet. Honey, we're supposed to be cleaning out the clutter. Look! Ooh, good call, Peter. We'll need this medieval battle axe for our ski trip, too. Why? Well, to keep Peter occupied and to chop firewood. I shall conquer all! I can't believe it. Those guys would have paid crazy money for your old stuff. Sure, my friend. You have a point. If people want to buy things just because they're expensive, why don't we just mark up the prices on mom and dad's junk? I bet we can make your parents the money for your ski trip without selling any of your stuff. Let's add another zero to their things. Make it two zeros. I like the way you think, Lola. Who's gonna buy a toaster for 500 bucks? You haven't seen my technique. Strategy three, high pressure sales. I see you're interested in that excellent throw pillow. No, just looking. You're interested in this fine item? Not so much. 200 smackers for skates? These aren't just ordinary skates, ma'am. Oh, no. This is the rare and special roller groomer. Whoa! $100 for a pillow? But it's not just any pillow, my friend. It was made on the Isle of Bonk, and it's infused with rare, special dream beads that are guaranteed to give you dreams of riches and beautiful, muscular women. Oh, really? Try it. Roller Hoomer? Roller Groomer. It's the perfect morning routine. You exercise while grooming. It's a real time saver. Hmm. Can I try it? Well, I'm sure glad we were able to get rid of all that clutter. Honey, this family ski trip is going to be massive. Epic! Ooh, we'll need this thermos for the trip and this megaphone. Seriously, we've got to stop buying things or we won't have any money left for the... Oh, those are perfect to hold all the new ski trip gear. Oh, oh! Oh, oh! Now that's some hardcore selling. Oh! oh! Stupid pillow gave me nightmare of a horrible shrieking witch flying around. Take it back. Oh, this almost killed me. We'll take 150. And we'll throw in a free helmet. And a pillow you can strap to your butt. Uh-oh. I thought they were trying to get rid of junk. It doesn't look like you've sold that much, dear. Attention! Everything on our table is, is half price! Come and get it! Half price? Honey, do whatever it takes. We're gonna go put all this in the car. How are we going to keep all your junk from selling now? It's not junk. Wait, you're right! It is junk! We've gotta up the junk factor. How? Your brother! Yes. Peter, I want you to play with all my toys. Do it. Wait, Peter, stop! Yo, what do you want for the robot? And how much for the teddy bear? $350. It, it's junk. It, it fell in toxic waste. I'll take five cents each. What? I realized it's time to let this stuff go. 
Angelo, we're proud of you. Son, it's important to let things go. I'm happy you feel that way. $300. Yes, the trip is a go. Get ready for a ski-tastic time. How did you make all this money? I just sold all your grunge music stuff. Your t-shirts, posters, CDs. What? Which way did he go? Is that him over there? Oh no, give me back my stink foot. We can still catch him. I'll get the car. This is gonna be awesome. Are you ready? I'm out. You're out? Wait, what? You're, you're out? How can you be out? You've been planning this for weeks. April Fools. <laughs> of course I'm in. I'm totally in. This is gonna be the greatest prank ever. Did I hear something about a prank? Only the greatest prank ever. Boy, you go on vacation for one week and you miss everything. I should have known you'd have something. Oh, I do. Do tell. Okay, today at noon, I'm gonna make Mr. Foot think that our school is being invaded by aliens. What? How? It's all in here. A couple of weeks ago, I found this book, and inside it, in a secret compartment, I found plans for pulling off the ultimate prank, an alien invasion. It was written by someone called The Awesome One. Why have you waited so long? Well, the plan clearly states that the prank will only work on someone who already believes in aliens. And since Sherwood is the only person I know who believes in all that junk, I had to wait. Guilty as charged. I do, in fact, believe there's intelligent life out there. Then my mom told me that Mr. Foot is a total freak about all that kind of stuff, too. Freak is your word. How did your mom know? Foot told her. What? Remember when I put grease on all the doorknobs at school? Huh? Hmm. <laughs> that was a classic. Thank you. You're welcome. Well. Foot called my mom to tell her that I had to stop pranking or I was gonna be in really big trouble. And somehow they got to talking and he told her that he was worried about an alien invasion. An alien invasion? You're kidding. Anything is possible. Well, once I knew that, it was too good a chance to pass up. Needless to say, I'm all for the prank. But it's worth pointing out that pranking a teacher who is already mad at you for pranking is a bit gutsy. I was gonna say insane, but gutsy's fine too. Go big or go home, my friends. Just imagine, Foot running around screaming, help, help, aliens are everywhere. <laughs> this is gonna be sweet. Won't be long now. Yo. Yo. Foot's out today. What? Another one of those career day things when someone's parent tells us about their job. No Foot? Good morning, students. Mom? As part of Mr. Foot's career day program, I'm here to tell you all about my job at the art gallery. What are you doing here? I just said why. You know, the career day thing. But I had no idea. I wanted to surprise you. Are you surprised? Ugh, this is a disaster. Well, that's not very friendly. <laughs> okay, now let's get started. Dude, we gotta call the prank off. Even as a child, I always had a certain penchant for the arts. She doesn't believe in aliens. A wise man once said that a picture can tell a thousand words. And she's my mom. Reds and blues and yellows exploding on the canvas. <gasps> During recess, you have to help me dismantle the prank or I'm toast. Bummer. It was gonna be great too. <laughs> What was your plan anyway? I'll tell you all about it as I take it down. Step one of any prank is always know your target. I noticed some of the UFO websites that Mr. Foot was checking out. For weeks now, I've been planting stories in the blogs he reads about giant robot-like aliens invading us today. Alien attack planned for April 1st. Probably why he's not here today. You see, with these stories, I was planting the seed, the acorn that will become a mighty oak, or was gonna become a mighty oak. No oak now. Nice sentence, though. It was in the book. Huh, look at that. There's a story about the invasion that I didn't even write. <laughs> that is awesome. They think what I wrote is true. It just may be. Their story was posted before yours. <laughs> 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 sure, there's no such thing as aliens. One of the things that I wrote about was how the invasion would begin with a disruption of the electrical supply. 
So I did a little rewiring and set the lights to start flickering at noon. What in the world is going on here? Could it be? The aliens have landed. Now I just got to put the wires back the way they were. Electrical disruption, often in the form of a blinding white light, is consistent with many of the claims of alien sighting. Huh? Did you see that? Relax, I just hit the breaker. Oh, uh, never mind. That was just Angelo. It hit the breaker. No big deal. <laughs> no, I didn't. What? Just kidding. Oh. Not. You always want to begin your prank with a bang, so I set the PA system to broadcast a menacing voice and this really loud buzzer, too. Oh, it was going to be so cool. Attention! Attention. This, this is, is an, an emergency. emergency. This, this is, is not, not a, drill. a drill. The aliens have landed! Ah! Everyone, please stay calm. Just got a few more fixes here, and it'll be back to normal. Oh! Hurry up, guys! Miss Perla, look! I'm a mime! Uh, mimes don't speak. Now? I'm in a box! Ma no, you're not. Now get out of my way. I'm in a rush. Uh... <clears throat> How did you get out? Invisible car. Beep beep! Uh-uh. Not supposed to talk. <laughs> <laughs> Now this is where it was gonna get really good. If Foot would have run out of his class and gone this way, he would have seen Ethan covered in alien slime. Ah! Huh? I've been hit! Oh no! Medic! <laughs> <laughs> On it! Wait, I have to call off the prank. No prank? Sorry, dude. Why slime? Slime is awesome. He's got a point. And if he ran the other way, he would have seen them. Ah! Ah! Don't hurt me. Them? Mm. Ah! I was counting on his fear to make them more believable. Sorry, guys. I had to call off the prank. Thanks anyway. Can we keep the costumes? Sure. Huh? What was that? What was that? I'm telling you, real aliens are on the march. Relax. I leaned on the light switch. Oh, whew. never mind. Sure, chill. I just can't help but savor and fear the potential irony of having a real alien attack coincide with our fake one. Oh, I almost forgot to call off the collapse. The what? Once I had a hook in him, the plan was to reel him in and finish the job. I arranged for loads of kids to suddenly collapse wherever they were. <sighs> hmm? What are you doing? Get up! What's happening? What have the aliens done to you? Aliens are everywhere! Ah! <laughs> uh, Angelo, did you order a light show? No. Hey, why isn't my phone working? Where did everybody go? Angelo, is this some kind of trick? I didn't set up any of this. What? I'm getting out of here. Come on, this way. Anything. We have one demand. Anything. Anything. No more pranks. What? No more pranks. Do we have a deal? Yeah, yeah, sure. No more pranks. Works for me. Me too. <laughs> April, April Fools! Fools. <laughs> when I talked to your mom about your last prank, we decided that it was time to prank you. We knew you would do something for April Fool's Day. 
but we just didn't know what. So I decided to give you the idea myself. You're the awesome one? Seriously? <laughs> well, I guess you could say I wrote the book on alien pranks. Mr. Foot rigged the lights and sound. What about the robots? Holograms. Where is everyone? Auditorium. I called an emergency school assembly, but I didn't tell you guys. So you posted the article about the invasion before Angelo did? Of course. I was planting the seed. The acorn. That would become the mighty oak. Yeah, I know. I read the book. So, do we have a deal? No more pranking. Promise? Promise. Good. You know, that was a pretty good prank for a mom. Yeah, well, looks like old mom still has a few tricks up her sleeve. Ah! Irony of ironies, the aliens really are attacking this time. Run for your life. I knew I forgot something. Another hologram? Just a backup. Huh? <laughs> Never mind. No way. Dude, that's a Domo Z 3.0. Yes way. Pretty sweet, don't you think? It's... Just a remote. <gasps> Just a remote? The Domo Z 3.0 controls absolutely everything in the house. It's like a magic wand, but awesomer. Seriously? Seriously. And my dad warned me not to mess with it. Angelo, don't even look at my new remote, or you'll be mowing the lawn until you're 21. Even for a quick demo? Come on, Angelo. Who's gonna know except us? They're right. What's the big deal? Okay. Stand back and watch the master at work. Want that on? It's on TV. And then there was light. Kazam! Voila! Fa pow! Whoa! The technology, man, is so beautiful. And off. <gasps> Whoa! I didn't mean to. Doesn't matter what you meant to do. Looks like you'll be mowing the lawn until you're 250. Not if we replace the remote before Dad notices. This is what we're gonna have to do. We're gonna need the remote's original receipt. Right. Since your dad just bought it, the store will exchange the broken remote for a new one. Exactly. Easier said than done. And isn't your dad usually home from work around, like, now? Gah! You're right! I'll find the receipt. You two geniuses, figure out how to delay Mr. K. Yeah, but what about the remote? Your dad's gonna want to use it when he gets home. That's it, Sherwood. We'll make him think it's still working. That's the best way to delay him. My dad follows a very precise ritual when he comes home from work. <laughs> this is, uh, Command Central. We've got incoming. Over. Copy that. And, Angelo, you don't have to make your own sound effects. Roger that. <laughs> Good evening, my love. Daddy's home. Are you talking to me or your remote? Again. Oh, uh, why, you of course, dear. <laughs> uh, you left the garage door open. No problemo, honey. Garage door, go. I'm on it. Over. Sometimes I think you leave the garage door open on purpose, just so you can use your remote. Don't be silly, sweetie. She's just jealous. Don't pay attention to her. The blinds. In three, two, one, go! <laughs> Push the button and there they go. It's snack time. Oh, it's snack time. Popcorn! I pre programmed the microwave. Now, if I know my dad like I know my dad, he'll be totally chill until dinner, giving Lola all the time she needs to find that receipt. Sweetie, what do you want to do for dinner tonight? Oh, I know. Honey, I'm going to use my new remote to turn on the computer and find a recipe website. Computer, computer, computer. Oh, time to improvise. Mmm, that looks
looks delicious. <sighs> Ooh, but I, I need to run to the store to pick up a few things. Allow me to open the garage door for you. Huh, that, that's never happened. Oh, I must have hit the wrong button. Sure, garage, right now. Oh, that's my baby. I'm starting to worry about you, dear. <sighs> Got it. Uh, nice. Phase one was a success. Duh, of course it was. I did all the work. Time for phase two. Get the broken remote back from Dad so you guys can make the exchange. Cool. Let's do it. Hold up, sure. Someone needs to learn how to program the new remote. <clears throat> oh, yeah. And it's in Japanese. I'll see what I could do. You two go ahead. Wait for me out front. I'll meet you with the remote in five. For my next strategy, I'm going to need a little help. Emphasis on the little. Hey, Peter. Want to pull a prank on Dad? Yay, pranks! I call this Attack of the Ultrasonic Remote. Dad, could you put Wisnimals on, please? Oh, sure thing, Peter. Any excuse to use my nifty remote. Um... Peter, why are you putting your fingers in your ears? Hey, Dad, I heard uh, some remotes make these crazy high-pitched sounds that only little kids and dogs can hear. Oh, come on now. That can't be true. I didn't know, kiddo. I'm sorry. I'll turn off the domo. Worked like a charm. Peter, you okay? Uh, yeah. What? Did you see that, Angelo? <laughs> the remote works on Peter. Hey, Peter, what are you doing? This isn't part of the plan. Oh, what about this one? Rewind! What? 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 Hey, what what's going on? <laughs> Wait till your mom sees this. Okay, well, that didn't work. So now it's time for my backup plan. Hey, Dad, didn't you make some popcorn? Oh, you're right. I totally forgot. Well, I need to add a button to this thing so the popcorn can come to me. You know how we all have that favorite movie that you gotta watch every time it's on? Huh. Well, spank my shorts! I love this movie! And you love to fall asleep when it's on, too. <laughs> so predictable. I'll just take this. Hmm. I'll need to replace the weight of the remote in his hand somehow. Oh! Jeez! Here you go, 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 go! How come I'm stuck doing all the hard stuff? Okay, we're even this time. <laughs> I've cooked up a little time-wasting treasure hunt for my dad, which should keep him pretty busy until Sherwood and Lola return. Uh, my remote is... Where in the world of a... You probably left the remote in the fridge when you meant to put away the cheese. Huh. You think? Frankly, I'd be surprised I could do something so silly. Now, what is that doing here? Maybe the remote's in the garage with your tools. Oh, crudders. We don't have time for a line. Lola and Sherwood are taking longer than I thought. Gonna have to stretch this treasure hunt a little longer. Oh, well, that can't be right. Angelo, are you sure you didn't borrow my room? Now, where's he gone? Domozi, domozi. Next. I don't know why, but my remote seems to be busted. Hmm, let me see. Oh, it looks like it fell. I can't exchange it if you broke it. All right. You want the truth? Of course. Here's what happened. I was watching TV when all of a sudden Mr. Meow, my cat, leapt off the couch and twisted his ankle. I was so worried I ran to him and accidentally dropped the remote. Oh my, the poor kitten. Is he okay? I, I think so. Thank you for asking. He's more important than anything. 
anything in the world to me. I'm so ashamed to even be wasting my time here with this stupid remote. When Mr. Meow's home, all alone, hobbling on his lame leg to his milk dish. <laughs> Hold on. I think I have another remote I can spare. <gasps> Thanks, lady. Arigato! Wait a second, something isn't right. This feels like a prank from Angelo! Hold on tight, sir. Patarega, yo wa siguru. No kashinde iru. You said it! Angelo! Uh oh. Dad's on to me. Angelo, where is my remote? Oh man, where's Sherwood and Lola? Uh, did you check under the couch? If I find out that you're the one who lost it, oh, you are in so much trouble, mister. You're in the couch. You know what? I'm gonna make you and your sister bunk together when we go camping. That's exactly right! It's not here. <laughs> Look, Angelo, I found it! You were right all along! Don't worry, it should be programmed just like before. Angelo-san. Uh, what's wrong with your dad? No idea. My little pride and joy! I thought I lost you. Now we're back in business. Oh. <gasps> Gah! Like son, like father. <laughs> Perfect plan for a perfect end.